Hi, everyone. My name is Linda Chow, and I am a data analytics consultant at PH Data. In this video, I will be walking through on how you can create multiple select parameters in Tableau. So the main benefit with that really is that it just provides a lot more flexibility when it comes to parameter functionality and design on our dashboards. Usually with parameters, we're limited to just one selection, but here what we're trying to do is um, allow users the ability to select more than one. So right now our data table just reflects the home office segment, but say we also wanted to include the corporate segment. If we click on corporate here, that will now be reflected within the data as well. And the same goes for consumer. And now if we wanted to deselect one of these options, it's just as simple as clicking on it. And now that will be deselected. As you can see, it functions very similar to a multi-select filter. But of course, the main difference here is that we are using parameters to drive these actions instead. And that's made possible through applying a parameter action on our dashboard, as well as a couple of calcs that we use on our sheets. Um, and so let's get started. So the first thing that uh, you need to do is to create a data visualization that you will apply the parameter action onto. In this case, I created just a very simple table using the sample superstore data here from Tableau showing states in the southern region and just a couple of metrics um, for our table here, profit, profit ratio, and sales. Once you've created your data visualization, the next step that we're going to do is to create the parameter itself. In this example, I am going to be using the segment as my parameter. So I will call this segment parameter. Thanks for the right note in the parameter. All right, and then I'm going to change the data type to string, set the current value to be nothing, make sure it's blank, and then we will keep the allowable values to all and click OK. After we've created our parameter, the next thing we're going to do is create a couple of calcs that we'll use on our sheets later. So the first one is going to be our segment true false calc, um, which will use the contain statement, our segment parameter and segment. So what this calculation essentially does is that it will identify if um, a member is in the parameter or not. Let's click OK. Now the second calculation that we need to create, I'm going to just call this my segment param action because this will be um, applied to the parameter action used in our dashboard later. And this is the calc for that. Essentially what this um, does is that if a member of a segment is in the segment parameter, then it will remove the value, um, but, um, if it is, but if it is not in the parameter, it will add the value to the segment parameter string. Um, this will also drive the selection deselection aspect on our dashboard as well. I know this sounds a bit confusing right now, but hopefully it'll all make sense when we put it all together um, in the end. So with that, let's click OK. And now we only have two more calcs that we need to create, and these are very simple ones, just a true statement. and a false statement. Okay. All right. So with that, we have all the calculations that we need created. The next step that we're going to do is to create a new sheet here. I'm going to rename it and call it parameter because this is where we will list out our list of parameters to choose from. Since I am using segment, I'm going to drag that onto the rows shelf and then hit control and just drag segment onto the text mark. So we just have that there for now. Next, I'm going to drag all of the newly calculated fields that we just created onto the marks card. So let's go with here a segment param action that will go into details. And then the segment true false will go onto color. This is what indicates to us what the selection is that's being made. This will make more sense once we have it all formatted and ready to go. Next, uh, we're going to pull over our false and true statements we created onto the details mark as well. Last but not least, drag over segment parameter onto details as well. Now that we have our marks all configured, the next thing we're going to do is to format um, our segment list here so that way it looks more like a selection list. And to do that, I'm going to start off by creating an inline calc on the columns shelf using min 0. Point, point, yes, 0, 0. Um, This is just really a matter of preference. You can create a calculated fill for this and drag it onto the column shelf or do what I just did, an ad hoc calc um, on the shelf itself. Once I've created that, I'm going to go ahead and just pull this line down a little here so we can see corporate. Next, I'm going back into the marks card and selecting circle. And then I'm going to go into the color. Let's change that blue to white. Okay. 
back to color again, and I'm going to add a black border. So now it kind of looks like selection bullets. And then I'm going to make the circles just a touch smaller. All right. And then I can go ahead and hide these headers here. We don't need them. And then make this a little smaller. All right. And now with that, um, we're starting to get closer to our list. And then with just a little bit of more formatting, um, we can make this uh, look better. So we're going to edit the axes here to make it left justified. So I'm going to go to fixed, maybe for the negative 0 0.5. For these, sometimes I just have to play around with it to see what it'll get me. I think that works. Just a little more. Great. So now we kind of have that left justified. We can go ahead and hide the header here. And I don't know if you can tell, but there are still some grid lines in the background there that we could just easily go to format and take out here. All right, great. So with that, now we have our um, selection list of segments for our parameter. Now that we have that created, we can go back to our table and drag uh, the segment true false statement onto the filters shelf. And then we'll just click OK for now. That causes our table to disappear, but it's OK. We can get that back by showing our segment parameter. Since one of our um, segment options was consumer, let's put that in. Consumer, and then click Enter. We'll go back to the segment true false, edit, and then select true. And now that brings back our table. So now that we have all of that set up, we can now proceed to create our dashboard. So let's do that. Now I'm just making this a little smaller. And we can drag on the two sheets that we created. So here's our data table. And then here is our parameter. Just for a little bit of formatting so it's easier to read. All right, now, as you can see here, since we entered in consumer for our parameter, that is now um, considered true. So what this does is that it's saying that our table is showing the profit, profit ratio, and sales within the consumer segment. And we know that's the case because it is true, flagged true here. And the next thing that we need to do in order to be able to select corporate and home office, I'm going to go and turn off the tooltips real quick so it's not as distracting. All right. I'm going to go to dashboard, actions, and then I'm going to add a change parameter action. And then I'm just going to call this the segment action, where our source sheet will be the parameter, and the target field is the segment parameter, and our source field will be the segment param action. I click OK. Then the next action we need to create is a filter action. This is where the deselect and select will occur. We'll just call it deselect. Again, so our sheet is parameter, run action on select, and the target sheet will be the parameter. Next, clear the selection will show all values. And then we'll do selected fields or filter, and this is where the true and false comes into play. Then we'll click OK and click OK again. And now let's test out our multi-select parameter. So now we're on consumer. Let's click corporate. Great. Now our data table both reflects um, the consumer and corporate segment. So let's click home office. And now we have all three segments. As it, and you can know that's true and it's working because um, Boolean statement is pulling true and it's also reflected here within our segment parameter. So if we were to clear this, that would get rid of everything. But if you were to click consumer, then our data would come back and so forth. And since we don't really need this anymore, you can just go ahead and get rid of that. And oh, so that's essentially how you create a multiple select parameter in Tableau. So with just a little bit of more formatting, you can go ahead and make it look nice um, to however you want it. So kind of how we just have a little here where it's just a bit more clean. Um, but yeah, other than that, we hope that you found this video useful and easy to follow. It's just a very useful way to make parameters more dynamic for our dashboards. And I think that it offers a lot of value for um, what you want to do and depending on what your needs are. So yeah, thank you for tuning in.